61 kilos, Azerbaijan and Georgia. Georgia will be in the uh, dark gray singlet. Azerbaijan comes out in the red. Jartelov, the 28-year-old for Azerbaijan. He was the international Ukrainian tournament gold medal winner this year, but he's going to have to rally early on. Lamtadze with a quick two, immediately looking to attack the lower half, whips him around for a two and a 4 nothing lead right out of the gate for Becca Lamtadze. Lomtadze won the Grand Prix de France earlier this year. Three straight European Championship runner-ups for Lomtadze. That streak will end this year, but uh, he's still trying to earn a medal and try to pick up the bronze. Good start, 4-0, Lomtadze out in front. There's a shot by Garstelov. Lomtadze trying to come around the top. Two points was signaled by the referee. I don't think it was confirmed. Lomtadze's two will be confirmed, and it's 6 nothing. So a good counter there by Lomtadze. And he will grab a 6-0 lead. Azerbaijan realizing that the two was not confirmed by the judge. So they will throw the challenge brick, and this one will go to the review table. It's a three-person officiating crew in international wrestling. You have the official, the referee, controlling the uh, mat. And then you have the judge down below at one table, and opposite him, is the Matt Chairman. The Matt Chairman, along with the replay official, will be taking a look at what you're seeing right here. And I think they're probably going to rewind it even a little further back to see if the initial two was good for Jartelov. He was the one who actually fired first there, and that's what the uh, panel is taking a look at. The gentleman in the black collared shirt, that is the Matt Chairman of this particular match. And then he is with the replay officials and they are discussing in unison what they're Ooh. taking a look at. Remember, the call is no points for Azerbaijan, so they're gonna have to overturn it. Is there enough evidence to show that there was control established for the initial two. There's no doubt George is going to get their two with Lomtadze, but the question and the reason the challenge came in from that man right there in the Azerbaijan corner was they thought Akhmagnabi Garstelov should have been given two. So Matt Sherman will come over and let us know. They will actually go full four for Jartelov. The brick will be given back to Azerbaijan, so a good use of the challenge, and it's six to four. Georgia can't believe it. <laughs> you can see their reaction in the corner. They did not think it was a fullback exposure, but that's the call, and it's six four. So. Good use of the challenge by Azerbaijan, and just like that, they are back in it. Good action, 90 seconds in. Action blue. Lots of times you'll see that after a delay because of a review. It, it takes a little while for the wrestlers to kind of get back to where they were before the action started. And it was a, a pretty spirited 90 seconds to begin with, in particular from Becca Lomtadze of Georgia. He came right out. Whistle, and this will be a passivity warning for Lomtadze. The 28-year-old wrestling for club at a sport. Located in Baku for head coach Ali Amranov. He's been with that club since 2010. 
2020 World Cup runner-up for Georgia. Lamtadze trying to return to form of his bronze medal showing at the World Championships. He accomplished that bronze back in 2016. Has struggled of late somewhat as far as the big stage goes. He placed 12th at the World Championships a couple of years ago. He took 9th at the Europeans a few years back as well. So this is Lamtadze's best showing here at these Continental Championships in the wild. He'll be satisfied as he heads to the corner with a 6-4 lead. Garstelov. And Azerbaijan, you see the beautiful ankle pick right there for the initial two from Lantardze. He was able to get a quick two on the turn. Then this was the review. Before that, they gave a four for exposure to Garstelov. And now Lamtadze with a 6-4 lead as we march into the second period. Talked about Lamtadze trying to get back to uh, top of the podium, a silver medal finish a year ago at these European Championships. Garstelov, as we talked about, it's been a while for him since he's been on the podium, so this is a big moment. For the 28-year-old from Azerbaijan, trailing by two, two and a half minutes to go. Counter shot there by Lamtadze, sprawling back effectively was Garstelov. Tadze with his right hand collar tie. Keeping his head up, keeping his forehead up. And the referee frustrated will restart the two in the center. Inside two minutes to go. Second and final period, it's been Beckham Tadze from the get go leading 6 4. Center. Referee coming with a verbal warning on the finger interlocking. And here's a straight on shot. Lamtadze wanted to go double, tried to switch it to a single, and he is going to get hit for the uh, passivity. And that, that, that's one that you kind of scratch your head on because he just launched a, a pretty good shot. But he gets tagged and will be put on the activity clock. 6 4, Georgia by two. Point given to Azerbaijan. So Lamtadze, his lead narrows, now 6 5. Again, we saw all the action in the opening 90 seconds of this match. It has slowed down substantially since. Garstelov always knew he'd have to get one more takedown, and that's going to be the case as we enter the home stretch here in the bronze medal. Lamtadze comes in on a shot. Nice counter defense by Garstelov. He avoids giving up the two. Still has that front head. Now tried to drop down to an ankle, and the two flip-flop rolls. It's Lamtadze in the position that we just saw Garstelov in a few moments ago. Good scramble near the edge. Both wrestlers repositioning. They disengage, and here we go. One final rush coming from Garstelov for Azerbaijan and the ref. Both wrestlers with an opportunity to score on that last exchange. Here's Lamtadze, bulldozering in. He'll get the Azerbaijan over to his back for points. That should seal it. Bricks come from both corners. Chaos near the end. And it should be Lamtadze with the win. Boy, both corners firing bricks simultaneously. Lamtadze feeling the effects of that last uh, 
battle there. You can hear his moans. I'm not sure if it's exhaustion or if he got banged, but he is definitely in some discomfort right now on the map. So as it stands, we're gonna sort all of this out. As they go to the replay, it was six to five, Lumtadze. The referee, the judge, and the mad chairman, they've been busy in this bout. They will all three come together. Azerbaijan re-scripting what they just saw. Lamtadze still trying to catch his breath from that interchange he just had. He's clearly in some discomfort. So the blue challenge is what they took a look at first for Georgia. And now the Azerbaijan challenge will come in. This is where a three-person system really pays off. Okay, here's the final 10 seconds. Lamtadze leading by a point. Good blast double. You see him kind of tweak there. I think that's where he might have hurt his rib cage or, or a muscle in his ab area. Tadze should have been given two there. He was. That was confirmed. And then the two countered by Jartello. So I have it as a final of eight to seven, but we'll see if they change anything. And again, clearly, you could tell by the face of Becca Lamtadze. There's the double finish that they're taking a look at. And Azerbaijan hoping that instead of two, they will be given four with about a second to go. Here's the entire 10-second sequence. Again, it starts with Lamtadze. He's the one in control here. Puts down the Azerbaijan wrestler for two. But then here comes Jartelov. Around, able to get the reversal. I think it's going to stay 8-7, but let's have the experts determine it. 2-2, two, two, and then the loss of challenge for Lamtadze at the end. So as expected, it will go 9-7. There's still a second to go. Lamtadze will run away here as time expires and he is clearly hurt. Becca Lamtadze gutting it out. He needed that last offensive maneuver. And a third place bronze medal showing quite a matchup, 9-7 in a wild bronze medal duel at 61 kilos.